Hey, Virgo, Summon, Rising, and Venus. This is what we got going on for February 26, 2021, sweethearts. Thank you to everybody who has purchased with me, Virgos. It was a delight. I love you guys so much. You guys are so cute and adorable. All right, Virgos, coming with the Hierophant, Ace of Cups to the King of Swords here, Virgos. You guys could have been dealing with a Taurus, a Sagittarius, a Gemini, a Libra, an Aries, a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and Gem and Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. All right, Virgo. All right, Virgo. I don't even know what's wrong with me. Sorry, sweethearts. All right. Uh, some um, Virgos, it looks like somebody wants to come towards you coming with the Knight of Pentacles, but they're taking their time. They're not rushing to do anything. They are kind of coming back in a little bit with a, with a little bit of impulsiveness. They do want to come out of the cold here with the Five of Pentacles in reverse, Virgos. It looks like this person wants to actually be in a relationship with you. They have definitely have marriage on their mind here, sweethearts. Um, for the ones that are getting a divorce here, Virgos, it's saying that once the divorce papers are over, it's done and it's finished with that relationship. You guys are done washing your hands clean from it. And you guys are never going to be looking back at that person ever again. Also, Virgo is the one that wants to come towards you. It's going to be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Maybe even a Taurus. They have a lot of love for you. That The wheel is going to start turning in your favor for Virgos. It's going to be definitely a very successful relationship. Because for the ones who are in separation with this person... It's saying that you guys planted a lot of seeds with them, but you guys have to go through separation, but they are ready to come back towards you and start planting seeds with you all over again here, Virgos. This person's going to be in their power. They're going to want to talk to you, actually have an honest conversation with you. It could be a Sagittarius who feels like they had lost a really good chance with you here. I feel like I'm picking up Virgos that this person is definitely very much so egotistical. They always think with their ego. They don't think with their heart. Always thinking with like their shadow self, Okay. They're so embarrassed and and they're having a lot of anxiety. I mean, Virgos, I can't explain to you the anxiety. Like I, it's running right through me. I don't. I, I can't explain to you, Virgos, how much anxiety this energy is for me right now. Like I can't even breathe. It's fine though. I'm a strong girl. I can handle it. Okay. <laughs> it's what I do. <laughs> uh, Virgos, this person wants to come back. They want to have an intimate relationship with you, but they're afraid that. It, the relationship's going to be overcoming with the world card here, Virgos. That's what it's saying. This person could have also been at a distance from he, from you as well, sweethearts. For the ones that are going through divorce, Virgos, it's saying that everything's going to be just fine. You, you, it, they're going to want to work on it, if, especially if the for the ones who are not married here, Virgos, it's saying that uh, even though it's not balanced at the moment, they want to balance it out. So even though it's not balanced, Justice card in reverse, they're working on it to make it become balanced. Libra, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. <sighs> Page of Wands here, sweethearts. This person's coming in towards you. They have a lot of passion towards you. And they have a lot of emotion towards you. They're going to be offering you. Um, they're going to be offering you pretty much their emotion. Also, passion, Virgos. They're going to be maybe even offering you a message that's going to be thinking that for them is going to be in their favor here virgos but with the four of cups you guys might still be dwelling on the past virgos let the past go it's over and done with the past is is finished do the best you guys can to heal yourselves and let the past go you are not living in the past how are you supposed to live in the present moment if you are still living in the past that means you're missing out on all your opportunities in the present moment that can lead you into your future let the past go virgos i understand pain and i get it but I'm not going to sit here and be like, oh, Virgos, this is healthy for you. It's not fucking healthy for you, Virgos. It's really not healthy to be sitting in the in the present moment and you're still dwelling on the past. It's going to lead to depression, sweethearts. It will lead to it will lead into depression. It's going to lead into fearfulness. It's going to be making you fearful of the unknown. It has to stop immediately. Let the past go. Stop thinking about what had happened back when. And then you start missing on opportunities that could lead you into a beautiful future here, Virgos. Let it go, Virgos. It's enough now, okay? You guys have been sitting and dwelling on the past for such a long time. Somebody has to tell you, and it's going to be me. Stop dwelling on the past. You can't control what had happened in the past. It's done and over with. Focus on the present moment. If you're not living in the present moment, then you're pretty much not living at all. It's not fair for you guys. You need to get out of that. You need to get out of that mindset as well. It's not doing nothing for you. There's also a new lover that's coming towards you. This person's going to want to be with you. It's going to be a small offer, Virgos. 
maybe this person acts a little bit immature or whatever the case is, but at the end of the day, this person is definitely interested in you, Virgos. But if you guys just lift up your head a little bit and see what's going on around you, maybe you guys are going to be wanting to be in that relationship with that person. There is a Gemini Libra Aquarius, or a Taurus for that matter, who is stalking you very heavily, Virgos. They're afraid that you may have ended up with somebody else, which could possibly be the truth, Virgos. This person's worried that they may have lost out on their opportunity with you and that you may end up finding somebody else, uh, cutie pies, okay? But there is somebody who's watching you very much. They're afraid, and they're very weak, Virgos. They don't really have a backbone, this person. Three pentacles in reverse, they're weak. That's it. They, this is what weak people do. They stalk you excessively behind the scenes without you. It, it's just really bad stalking here, Virgos. They, they, they're they weak. If they wanted to come towards you, I feel like it's a Taurus for some reason because we are in the Taurus line here. So it looks like someone's stalking you, but they're weak, Virgos. I don't know what to say. <clears throat> um... Somebody is coming in here, Virgos, to spoil you, to give you a lot of offer and a lot of gifts. There's going to be an emperor here, Virgos, who's going to be loving and passionate about you, very compassionate as well. This person, Virgos, I think it's somebody here from the past who has definitely grown up. They've grown up, Virgos. They did exactly what they needed to do during the separation to grow up from whatever immaturity that they were in before. But they're definitely going through a lot of heartache at the moment, and they're going through a lot of depression. So maybe some of you guys are even able to feel this person not doing well at the moment, and you guys are picking up on this person's energy, especially if you guys are a twin flame soulmate here, Virgos. And this person wants to be with you, Virgos. They know that they have a connection here with you and the and the passion with you, both of you guys. It was very, very ignited. It was very beautiful, great sexual um, attraction here, Virgos is saying. But this person's really afraid, Virgos, that it may have also been an end, like it's completely over and done with. They're actually having... They're having a lot of stress about it uh, coming in with the coming in with the nine of swords. Their anxiety is really high, Virgo. It's like a 20 out of 10, their anxiety. Maybe even nightmares as well, but they're definitely stressed out about you for sure. Thinking that they may have lost you for good and that they're never going to be able to get you back. At the bottom of the deck, I got the high priestess. <clears throat> you guys are going to be using your intuition trying to figure out what kind of connection this is here, Virgos. It is definitely a soulmate connection that could bring a lot of happiness and wealth towards you. Uh, this person is definitely shameful of the arguments that they had with you here in the past, Virgos. You guys didn't really say much to this person when they were arguing with you. You guys kind of pretty much just walked away from that connection. Uh, there's somebody here, Cancer Pisces Scorpio, who wants to come in and make you an offer, Virgos. It is somebody who's going to be very loving and sweet to you as well. They're going to want they're going to want to have a happy home with you, protect you, take care of you. They're also going to want a child here with you, Virgos. They feel very shameful, Virgos, because you are you're actually a very loving type of person. They feel very very shameful. They feel shame literally for fighting with you, for putting you in competition with other people. You don't hurt a queen of cups like that. So sad. Regardless of Virgos, this person's definitely at a distance here from you, Virgos, but they're still holding on to the connection. They haven't released you yet. They're waiting for the right time to come back towards you, but it looks like they're definitely on their way because I do have the three of wands showing to the knight of cups and making its way to the ten of cups here, Virgos. So that's letting me know immediately. They're on their way. They just need to get that get that little kick going, but regardless of Virgos, they are on their way, okay? It could also be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This person's definitely stressed out, Virgos. PTSD, the whole nine. They're trapped. They're coming towards you. Look at them. They jumped in the boat, Virgos. They got they got on the boat. They got on the boat, Virgos. Look, look, look. I'm not even joking. <laughs> Virgos, look. The ships are coming in. Like, the boat's coming in. And then all of a sudden, the boat is here. <laughs> so, they literally got on the boat, Virgos. They're jumping on the boat. They're, they're ready to make their way, okay? This person's actually manifesting you. They're manifesting you, Virgos. You guys are having a rebirth with this person coming with the judgment card. God is actually the one controlling this relationship between the two of you guys. God is the one that's taking care of it, Virgos. If you guys were in separation with this person, it's because God removed this person from your life because they wasn't mature enough for you. They wasn't at that vibrational level that you guys would have been on with the coming with the Queen of Cups. So if you're a male, you would be a King of Cups, right, sweethearts? But God is the one that's controlling this connection here, coming with the judgment card, Virgos. Because, sweethearts, God's not going to let anybody hurt an empress. No way. So if this person ended up having to ghost you, leave you, walk away from you, or whatever the case is, God was the reason why that this person removed, got removed from your life because God's not going to let anyone harm, harm an empress. You don't harm a queen like that. You don't harm an empress. You don't hurt somebody who is 
of the divine. It's not going to happen. God's always going to remove that person until they get their act together, which it looks like they do. We're coming with the emperor card there, Virgos. It's in God's timing. You have to be patient and you have to believe in God that he is the almighty and he will be the one to take care of everything for you. If you were to pray and ask for this person to come back, God will grant that for you. It may take a little bit of time, Virgos, but it will surely happen. Coming in with the Nine of Cups, Virgos. You guys are so cute. So bubbly, so sweet, so loving, so kind, so caring. You guys are about to walk into the Nine of Cups energy here, Virgos. Beautiful, beautiful. Your wishes are absolutely going to be fulfilled. And the reason why that is is because you guys have the angels and God on your side here. Your spirit guides are guiding you, taking care of you as well. Literally. You guys always working with your spirit guides, Virgos. Regardless, so sweethearts, this person could have been juggling you with other people too. <sighs> Sorry, honeys. This person could have been juggling you here with other people too, Virgos. But regardless, this is definitely a very handsome person. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. You guys might be a little bit guarded at the moment, Virgos. And you guys definitely use your words very, very wise, Virgos. You guys don't have an issue using your words. Your throat chakras work really, really well. Your chakras are all aligned, Virgos. You guys are great when it comes to your chakras and everything like that, okay? <sighs> Somebody here knew about you, so there was a, okay, so Virgos, it looks like this person was juggling you with somebody else, okay? One would have been like a 30-year-old woman, the other one would have been maybe around the same age, but definitely the Queen of Wands would have been sexier over here, but this one would have been like somebody who also even had a child too, <clears throat> like a younger mother is what I mean, like a single, you know? Oh my God, oh my God, Virgos, three queens. Oh my goodness, don't tell me that this person was dealing with more than one person at one time. This person was dealing with three different people at one time, Virgos. No wonder you guys are in the Nine of Wands energy saying, fuck this, I'm just going to focus on my money. Like This one is cussing him out. This one is cussing him out. This one's like, oh, do 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 Nah, living my life. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> like, I'm sexy. I can do whatever it is that I want. <clears throat> This one is ready to chop off this one's head. <laughs> and you guys are like, fuck this shit. I want nothing to do with it. I'm out. I'm going to go focus on my pinnacle. At the end of the day, though, Virgos, you guys have a Cancer Pisces Scorpio coming towards who's who might be coming out of hermit mode at the moment, Virgos. Finally. They're definitely using their intuition here, Virgos, okay? This person is hoping that they can come back, rushing back towards you, Virgos. There's an Aquarius here who's definitely a player, Virgos, so make sure you guys use your intuition, Four of Wands. It will be a successful relationship, Virgos. But you guys, there's an Aquarius who's definitely hurt here, Virgos. Also, it could also be you guys' energy. So take it, flip it, whatever you guys got to do, sweethearts, okay? But at the end of the day, this person wants to come back and be successful with you guys, Virgos. They want to, they want, they just want to be happy with you. This person's rushing back towards you, Virgos. But when they was dealing with you, damn. There's an Aquarius here who's very fucking toxic, Virgos. They do drugs. They do alcohol. They do all this bad shit. They, this Aquarius pretty much destroyed a Virgo male. And there's a Virgo. There's an Aquarius female who ended up hurting an, a Virgo male. Okay, who created a lot of uh, created a lot of illusion for a Virgo male here, Virgos, and was very much so manipulative and gassy too. Ten of Pentacles. Also, Virgos, uh, you guys are gonna end up going into your success. You guys are going to be able to defeat everybody who is trying to bother you, hurt you, or whatever the case is, okay? You guys are going to win it all, Virgo. You guys are about to go into your abundance, uh, your prosperity, your wealth, your money. You guys are so single and living your life, Virgos. Your money looks fucking sexy AF. I'm not going to lie. You guys got the bag, Virgos. Not, no joke. And it's saying here, hold on to your money, Virgo, because that's nobody's money except for you guys. Somebody's getting their inheritance in Virgos, and it's going to be bringing in... So, it's, it's too much inheritance, Virgos. This is an abundant amount of money. Much more than $10,000 worth of inheritance money, sweethearts, okay? <sighs> Somebody wants to come and take a leap of faith here with you, but just make sure that they don't attempt to fucking do bullshit behind your back here, Virgos, and keep secrets from you. There's a Pisces here who always steals, Virgos. It's them stealing, them, them fucking stealing ass Pisces. Always showing up in my read. They always stealing something, them Pisces, for some fucking reason. And then for that... Uh, death card. It's going to be over, Virgos. You guys are going to be getting back your strength again because you guys have a lot of beautiful new beginnings coming towards you. Here. See? 11. Okay. That's good, Virgos. Maybe on 11, 11, you guys are wishing a whole lot here, Virgos, too. Okay. But you guys, there's a Virgo here who is missing you from the past. This person, this Virgo here, Virgos, they, I think they left you to go be with an Aquarius, to be quite honest with you. 
to be quite honest with you, for some of you guys that I'm reading for, there's a Virgo here that left you, the Empress, to go be with an Aquarius just to eat shit. I'm not even playing. This Aquarius did nothing for your Virgo, did, like, did nothing for your person. Maybe he was a Virgo on a Virgo. Maybe Virgo, Virgo reading Virgos. And then the Virgo ended up leaving you to go be with an Aquarius. But that Aquarius literally kicked their ass so bad. Left them in a lot of darkness. Lied to them. Betrayed them. Stole from them. Fucking thieving ass Aquarius is what I'm seeing here, Virgos. Pisces is always stealing from you guys. Aquarius is showing up in the read. It looks like an Aquarius treated a Virgo male really, really badly here, Virgos. And it looks like the Virgo is missing the one that they left and they want to come back and they want to be in a relationship with you coming in with the hierophant here sweethearts they see you as the empress you are the what you are the one and only virgos this person is missing you so much i don't even know what to say to you regardless looks like they fucked up thanks cuties bye